Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today I'm doing a little experiment. I've got a chuck roast. I'm gonna see if I can turn it in to burn ends that are as good or better than brisket point burn ends. Now I've seen this done before on the internet where they'll season the roast, smoke it, cube it up, treat it just like brisket point. I'm gonna do things a little different. I'm gonna cube it up from the start, then get my seasoning on it into the smoke. That way it develops bark all around each of these burn end morsels. I hope it's gonna be good. I really don't know, but we're about to find out. Let's get to cooking. So I've got a three pound chuck roast today. Now this one came from my buddy Kevin down at the butcher shop. You can find these just about any grocery store and they're pretty inexpensive. That's why it's a, a great piece of meat to turn into some fake burn ends. The first thing I'm gonna to do to it is get it cubed up. And I'm gonna to try to cut these into about one inch cubes. First, I'm gonna start across the chuck roast. That looks good. Now we've got it cut into thick strips. That's gonna be a little burn in piece. And now I wanna come back and cube these pieces. So we're just gonna turn them on their sides. But what it's making is these little bitty cubes of chuck roast. I'm gonna see if I can get them rendered down, get some bark on the outside of them, see if they'll melt in my mouth like a good piece of brisket. They're all kind of square. There may be a little bit of misshapenness to them, but that's okay. We're not going for perfect symmetry. So what I'm gonna do now is kind of spread them out and we're gonna get some seasoning on all sides of them. I'm just starting with some barbecue rub. You could use whatever you want. This is my The Barbecue Rub. Anything you would put on a brisket is gonna be great on these. Flip them over, we wanna get all sides. I want them coated in the seasoning because I want bark all around every piece. That's the whole goal, the whole reason of cutting them up first. They're gonna shrink down some, and that's okay. I want them to get tender to where they'll just melt in your mouth. That's what it's about. Now I'm also gonna put on a little bit of texture. I'm using my TX rub. It's basically coarse salt, coarse black pepper, but it's gonna give a nice little crunch to these burn ends when they're done. That looks good. Let's flip them over. Same thing, a little bit of TX. You could use salt and pepper if you want. Whatever seasoning you like would be great on these. Now I've got a couple of these little cooling racks. I call them chicken racks. This is what we're gonna cook these burn ends on. And what I'm gonna do is spray them with a little bit of cooking spray so they don't stick. You wanna give them enough space to where the smoke, the heat can get around them. You don't really want them touching. They're gonna to shrink up a little bit. Looks like I'm getting about four wide, probably about four deep too. How about that? Yep. That looks perfect. I'm just kind of forming them into those little square burn-in sized pieces. So hopefully it's gonna look just like a brisket burn-in when we get them cooked. I don't know, this is an experiment. It may totally bomb, but I got a feeling it's gonna be delicious. So I'm just gonna let these burn-in pieces hang out here on the cutting board while I fire up my pit. Now I'm using my gateway drum today, running some Royal Oak lump charcoal. Got a couple tumbleweeds to get those coals good and hot. I've also got my barbecue guru set. I'm running it at 275 degrees. That's gonna hold that pit steady the entire cook where I don't have to worry about it. Now when the pit stabilizes, I'm gonna add some smoker wood. I'm using pecan today. Put my rack in place. We'll be ready to put the burn-ins on the grill. All right, the drum is up to temp. I got that pecan wood rolling. I'm just gonna place these racks right on the cooking grate and we'll get the lid closed because now they just need some time in the smoke. We wanna let that seasoning develop, that bark on the outside of this chuck roast cubes. All right, y'all check it out. We've been on for two hours and now our chuck roast burn ends are starting to look like the real deal. They've got that bark all the way around them. They're sizzling, that fat's rendering down. I'm ready to get them off. Just gonna grab them here move them over to the cutting board. Now what I'm gonna do is move each one of these to an aluminum pan, just kind of stack them in rows. You could dump them in if you wanted to. And they're not done. I mean, you can see they're still pretty tough. They've got the bark on the outside, the seasoning on the outside, but they need to be broke down. What I've done is mix some beef broth, about half a cup with one cup of barbecue sauce. You could use any kind of barbecue sauce you want. I just use my The Barbecue Sauce. I'm gonna drizzle this over the top. Give us some liquid to the pan. It's gonna help it steam. It's gonna sweeten them up a little bit. It's gonna fortify that beef flavor with the beef broth. And I'm gonna cover the top of the pan. It's gonna trap all the heat inside. It's gonna build up steam. It's gonna build up heat. That's what's gonna really break these burn ends down. They're going right back on the pit, probably for about an hour and a half. We'll check on them, see what they're like. So we've been rolling about an hour and 45 minutes in the pan. I wanna get them off, get them over to the cutting board. Let's just see how tender we are. They may be there, they may not. So I'm just gonna ease the foil off, put some of that ooh, good smoke out, I like that. And they have rendered down, I can tell. But I'm not worried about internal temperature. I'm looking for that squishy factor. That's what I wanna see. When I can pick one up and mash it and it almost break, but I think that's it. I mean, that broke right apart. It's tender as it can be. I mean, look at this. When you can take that burn in and almost mash right through it, 
that's where you want them. And I'm feeling that on all of these. So hey, they're done. So all I'm gonna do, freshen them up a little bit in this sauce, kind of a beef glaze we've made. They're passing the look test. I mean, these look like burn ends. Let's put them out here on the board. Ooh, it's hot. Little nuggets of deliciousness. So these truck roast burn ends have sat here and cooled off about as long as I can stand because they look like burn ends. They pass that test. But now I want to find out what they taste like. So I'm going to go in, get me one of those soft ones. It might burn me up. I don't know. It smells like a burn in. Mm. Mm. It's good. Real good. And these are surprisingly really good. Is it as good as a brisket point cooked down, turned into burn ins? Not even close. But for a fake burn in, it'll pass. You know, it's good enough, I'm gonna have to go back and get some more. The whole deal for me is the texture. It's just not the same texture as you get from cooking a brisket point all the way down. The point has more fat in it, more connective tissue. There's a lot of leanness to this chuck roast and I like it. It's very good. It's closer to tasting like a beef rib than it really is a brisket. And they cook down. I mean, they've got a great caramelization on the outside. You taste the smoke, that pecan wood. The seasonings are really good. I mean, I'm getting some sweet, but I'm getting the savoriness, the beefiness of them. But it's just not brisket point. I mean, it's a good fake burn in. I'll give it that. There's a fatty little delicious bite. I like that. So as far as the experiment goes, I would say it's a success. I would definitely do these chuck roast burnt ends again. In four hours, you can't beat it to have a fake burn in. That's a wrap here at How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I want to find out what Shell thinks about these burnt ins, and we'll talk about that on the podcast this week, this Friday. Y'all check that out too. We'll see y'all next time.